Hopefully you can hear me now. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Can I just get a quick uh, round of feedback on the channel? Can you hear me all right? Uh, can you see me all right? Uh, can you see the game? Can you hear the game? It should be burbling away in the background with lots of noises, squeals and things. Excellent. You can hear me. Right. Okay. So battle for Sherman Hill is why we are here today. Um, but before we get on to battle for Sherman Hill, uh, and I'm going to explain what it is. Um, it's... Um, it's pretty cool offering, uh, but before we get to what it is, I just want to remind you of what is also out now. So, the M3 is out now. There, There is an issue we're aware of um, on the Xbox. Uh, don't worry, folks. Uh, apologies for the issue. Uh, it is being looked into uh, and will be fixed as soon as possible. Um, so, uh, But it is available now, So, uh, and I'm seeing people uh, sharing screenshots of it. So, uh, yes, please uh, please carry on and play, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Give us your feedback, and don't forget to leave a Steam review. Right, so... Battle for Sherman Hill. Let me explain what Battle for Sherman Hill is. Let me just find my notes that tell me what Battle for Sherman Hill is. Uh, one second. <clears throat> right, so now I've got my notes up. Right, okay, Battle for Sherman Hill is a collection of DLC, um, and I'll go into what that is in a minute, and a scenario pack that then uses all of that DLC in, in some pretty cool gameplay. Um, what is it? Uh, it is Sherman Hill, the Union Pacific Challenger, the Union Pacific Big Boy, the GP40-2 Loco Pack, the Union Pacific SD70 ACE Loco Pack, the Cab Forward Loco Pack, which is needed because of wagons, uh, and obviously the Battle for Sherman Hill Scenario Pack. That whole thing is 1999 UK pounds. I don't know how that translates into other currencies. But it's also available. So if you haven't got any of that stuff and you just want to get that, then 20 quid buys the lot. Okay. If you have got bits of it, or all of it, there is a complete my collection going to be made available as well, which then means you get the benefit of the discount, but you don't pay for the things that you've already got out of that package. Um... So if you have all of the locos already, then it's six pound ninety nine for the um, just for the scenario pack essentially to get everything that's in there. So, uh, if you've already got the locos, it's six pound ninety nine. Is essentially what the complete my collection will uh, will charge to just get the uh, scenario pack. If you have if you're missing anything, there's the complete my collection to build up the bits you don't have. If you've not got any of it, there'll be a pack which is just nineteen ninety nine for the whole thing. Um, so that's a pretty amazing deal to uh, build up your Union Pacific and Sherman Hill uh, experience. And then these scenarios, which I've got on the screen here, um, there are nine scenarios in the pack, um, which, as you can see, average around about an hour each overall. Um, and we're going to run two of them tonight. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at uh, some of the stuff that's in there. The benefit of a scenario pack bundled with a large... Um, complete my collection like this is that all of these trains can then be used uh, in and amongst the scenarios so you get really much more interesting scenarios um, uh, could you make a steam locomotive and trains in world at some point Isaac hopefully uh, Harry what's the next trains in world route to come out nothing has been announced yet uh, right I think I've got on with that right let's get the first scenario going I'm gonna do the Pacific Fruit Express first PFE Extra East with a challenger because steam is there an estimated time with MP DLC will be fixed on Xbox? No, people are looking at it right now, and when they figured out what the problem is, then it'll be fixed. Usually these things, once they're fixed, they're fixed instantly, but they've got to work out what the issue is first. I would hope fairly soon, but I don't know what the problem is, so I can't give you any kind of guidance on that. All I can tell you is the assurance that people are looking at it right now. <coughs> Taylor GB, enjoying the M3? Ace. 
Why isn't the stream 4K? Does anyone stream in 4K? Train order 419, Union Pacific Extra 3985 East will operate from Laramie to the crew change point at Cheyenne Station. Extra 395, 3985 East is authorised to depart Laramie at 4.31pm or later and as governed by signal indications proceed eastbound on track 1. Train will take the centre signal siding and clear at Buford to be overtaken by UP Train 104, Locomotive 9953. Completed and signed. Right. Let's just have a look and see what we need to be doing. We're here. We're pulling forward, coming round to there. Good. Snippy slips going on here. That's bow. That's bow. Uh, F door, if you buy GB Rail Journeys, does it mean G Groups will be added to your TS? They will indeed, F door, yes. Express. It's quite a famous train, this one. No news on the editor back up here. Instance in Tees Valley, all stations. You have to be in passenger mode and visit every station on Tees Valley with the single time savings on would you not just get on a train at Darlington and then every time it stops get off and get back on again? Hey Jim Oaks, how's it going? Usable formations is an update that you probably already have, Ralph Fan. If you look at the um, M3, uh, sorry, the M7, you should find it already has the option, yeah. That was a core update to the timetable itself. The only code will you have to reinstall, I've no idea. Um, once the problem is fixed, I'm sure there'll be a note on social media um, with any um, changes that you need to make as a result. The M3 comes with three scenarios, I thought. No release date for this. Battle for Sherman Hill, I believe, is out today. Or if it's not already out, it's be out shortly, I think.
Rail fan Sam is back tomorrow. I can't remember what Sam is doing tomorrow, but Sam is back tomorrow on the Rail fan TV. Challenge is beautiful, isn't it? The big boy is part of the uh, battle for Sherman Hill as well. Sam is Sam is doing Northeast Corridor tomorrow on TSW. Fantastic. There you go. Now you know what to look forward to. Have I heard of the Harrogate Loop? Yes. Well, vaguely. I wonder where my train had gone to. Turn the game volume down a bit. That is a bit loud, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm the only one in the pink headphone club, I know. Sad times. Right, we're coming off more for L. Big boy and challenger, number of wheels, crudely. This one is a uh, 4664 and challenger is a 4884. Wonder what we've got coming up here. Another challenger. Volmic, because of the way we work with Restream or IO, it can't change it to TS. I'll black that screen. The Atlantic Ice Cream Express was uh, well, broke down, wasn't it? They decided to cancel that service. Do I play Fortnite? I don't play the others. Some H2O going in. Still in a 40 limit, so I can't open it up. Where's the battle? The battle is going up the hill and driving the trains and
It's not out yet, is it? Okay. I thought it was. I might be wrong. You notice, by the way, that on this one the um, the smoke changes colour. So I'm pouring in coal at the moment. It uses an auto loader, so you'll notice in the cab you, there's nothing going. You can't. There's no shovel. There's no firebox door, and it's auto loaded with a with a conveyor or a um, a drive shaft underneath it. Why does it change colour? Because I'm loading fuel on, so it smoke, smoke naturally goes to a dark colour when I'm loading on fuel. It's kind of a fake simulation of what actually happens on a steam engine, but it means the smoke colour does change. And then when you stop loading up, uh, the coal, um, you'll notice that over time uh, this will gradually return back to a white again. Stoke, if that's the word I was looking for, train boy. Thank you. Still roll holding at steady 40 miles an hour. Water's still going in, but it's being used. Yeah, a bit of jitter there. I don't know why that's stuttering so badly. Breaking. Oh, I think the steam has decided to start downloading a load of stuff in the background. Thank you, steam. We're on a steady 0.8% at the moment. I can't remember what the ruling grade is, Kyle. We're here about here. This is Cheyenne up there. This is Laramie over here, if I remember rightly. Nope, other way around. This is Cheyenne. And this is Laramie. Adelaide, Alley, nobody's at the Dovetail office, we're all working from home. No, I actually uninstalled that Bolmic to make sure that didn't ever happen again. Okay, stop putting water in. Lovely, isn't she? Huge locos, these things. The big boy and the challenger. There's one scenario with the big boy, one scenario with the challenger. How do you do the fast forward thing? Um, so, I'll show, give you a quick overview of the camera again. So, press 8 to unlock the camera. Hold the, let me just, uh, right, hold the mouse, uh, right mouse button down to look around. Up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. So if you hold forwards, you can then point the camera where you want it to go. And if you press the right, uh, press the shift key, it speeds up. Then you've just got to guide it where you want to put it. And if you want to catch up with the train really quickly, use the shift key. So if I go forwards, shift key. If I now go up.
you'll see I've, I've leapt way ahead. The higher you are, the faster you go. Oh yeah, and control up and control down. Let you move around vertically. I don't know any details about what the problem is with the M3 on the Xbox, folks, or when it's being fixed on other, or when it'll be fixed, other than people are looking at trying to fix it at the moment. I do apologise. A kernel cam. Let's have a go, shall we? Look at this sort of thing. to do that I need to slow down a bit really how fast is the camera going about that fast It's slowing and speeding up. Let's get back up to the limit. Let's just perch atop this rock. Another challenger. Yep. Okay. 
think the smoke should hang around a bit more. One of the problems with particles is that because of all of the um, the fact that they alpha blend with the background, they end up being incredibly expensive and resources. Is why, in order to get like a, a, a full amount of um, here, if they drifted off for a long time out the back, it would the frame rate would absolutely tank. All right, how do I pronounce this? Colores, colors. Still got a green light. You want a three one three a three one three, do you change the world? Excellent. I hear that a lot. Seems to be popular. How do you move quickly again? Uh, two things, the shift key. If that if you need to go even faster, just aim high. The higher you are, the faster you'll travel. And as soon as you come back down again, it slows back down. Oh, I'm too far away from the train. That's how fast I'm going. Jesse, as soon as the team have figured out the problem, you'll be able to use it. So are we going all the way? Buford Centre siding is where we're going, which is where exactly over there? Seventeen miles. We're listening trains of the world, but we can't make everything instantly. I don't know what the problem is with the M3 Lilquas, all I know is that people are looking into it. Challenger, uh, tease, Challenger. These cars are actually from the Cab Forward Pack, if I remember rightly, uh, Flying Scotsman, which is part of the uh, Battle for Sherman Hill bundle deal. Do I prefer electric or steam? Le uh, steam. CSW has Simira for physics. How are the loco physics calculated in TS? It's a combination of things. So inside the core of, um, of, of Train Simulator, there is just code, um, which does the same similar job to Simigraph, but does it in a it does these things. Um, that code is then tweaked and tuned and configured through the blueprints, which um, uh, are used to create the locomotive. Um, some uh, some locomotives, particularly third parties. Instead of using the core code, they've written their own in Lua scripting, but the principle is exactly the same. It's just, it's code. I wouldn't go so far as to call it, I, would, I wouldn't diminish it by calling it scripting. It's quite complex code, but it is, it's code nevertheless. It's a hard-coded um, simulation. So I think there are six simulation models in Train Simulator for the different types of diesel, electric and steam um, that are out there. And then of those, they're then further customised and so forth.
Uh, my dad has one of the HO gauge big boys. I don't remember which one it was, and it doesn't work at the moment. I need to find out how to take it apart. They might be BLI, Stephen Gem, I can't remember. Todd Goslands, want to give a big thank you to you and the DGG team for TSW. You made my dream come true. I get to drive trains. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much, Todd. Really appreciate that. Tam Walker, yep, yeah, the team are looking into what's going on with the M3 at the moment. Still in the 14 limits. Go and hang around by here. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to be going live on my own channel tonight, Backlin. Uh, how long the M3 is the M3 going to come to the Xbox? So the team are working on what's wrong with that at the moment, MTA. Do I prefer TS or TSW? I play them both, to be honest, because they each offer um, different experiences. I generally play TSW more than TS, but then I'm also the senior producer of TSW, so that's kind of my job to. Um, but I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is um, it's lovely to drive a bit of steam. He says, suddenly realising that he's not put anything in the water or the coal. So that's right. I know it's a shocker, isn't it, Crucible? Never happened before, ever. Indeed, J and J Transit, both fun. Right, we've come up against the other line now. So from from where we are here, we're coming up on this line here, which is um, the other line that we we went we we went this way. This one's coming this way, and we're just merging back up again with it now. And then we'd split again until over here. Is this line three, I think, it is? Can I show the interior? Certainly. waiting for us over here. Ah, that's a big boy. 4884. This route is Sherman Hill, Todd Gosland.
fire is. Boilers getting back into a healthy state again, slowly but surely. It's one of the nice things about the things like these is the pack like the Battle for Sherman Hill is that it means that these scenarios can be created with such a great amount of stock in them. And then you can catch up with that stock at a you know, really amazing price. If you haven't got anything, it's £19.99 for all of the locos and the route. Um, but if you've got bits of it, there's a complete my collection. See you later, train boy. Uh, when can we expect Battle for Sherman Hill to release? At this point, I don't actually know. Uh, I thought it was today. Hey, you go, there you go. Soon, let's call it that. Still on a steady 0.8%. Still got water going in. We're doing all right. See you later, F door. Oh, hello. We're about to run out. Dale Junction. I don't know what the origin of the whistle is on this Alat and Sarah. So if you wanted to make a screenshot, how close can I get it? That'll do. Did you ever want to be a train driver when you I don't think I actually thought about it, to be honest, which boggles my mind when I think about it now.
putting the brakes on, the speed limit's going up. Steady on, folks. Speed limit's going up. Just occurred to me. Woo. There's a number of rock formations which are fairly iconic on the uh, on the uh, Sherman Hill. When you're driving the M3, does it count towards a mastery challenge for this route? I actually don't know the answer to that. I want to say it does, but I might be wrong, so I won't say it does. I'll say it might. <laughs> I appreciate you're probably not, not feeling that's very helpful. <laughs> Matt, do I mod TS2020 or TSW? Um, I'm senior producer for TSW, so um, I help slash hinder um, the people who do it properly. Slightly overfilled the boiler, but never mind. Hey Tommy Blundell, how's it going? around the mountain. A bit more cut off, getting some more speed. Fantastic route, isn't it, Alert Siren? Get my boiler pressure back up. Gave it a bit more cut off so they'd have a bit more beans and then um, lost all my boiler pressure. <laughs> it's coming up no problem. This thing builds up boiler pressure quite quickly. Uh, Glen Egg Out, so this, the whisk, the horn on this thing can only do long, it can't do short. short as it gets. I'm well aware of 14L. It's drummed into me about a hundred times every stream. Polar Express would be cool, wouldn't it, Aro?
that will you when you add more US content to TSW in the future. What is the next Swiss route for TSW? A Swiss one. If there's any more questions I can answer for everybody, just let me know. We've got the boiler pressure now, so let's um, supply the beans. What's the next Dutch route for NSTSW? A Dutch one! You can probably answer the question yourself at this point, to be fair. Do I work for DTG? I do indeed, uh, Bradford. What country is the next route going to be in? One on planet Earth. I'm sorry, I, I, it, it'll be a country. If things aren't announced, I can't talk about them, I'm afraid, folks. And other than saying the same thing over and over again, I'm resorting to um, witty, unhelpful responses. <laughs> What's the speeding launches? Oh, the speed limit went down. Oh, bye bye score! That's handy, that's uh, Vance approach, isn't it? That's because we're stopping at 3.7 miles. Eh, me and points have a uh, have a mixed relationship there, uh, uh, Tease. Approach diverging. Oh, there you go. If what's my favourite TSW route? I'm probably playing probably more of Hubstruck and Rain Roar than anything else. there ever be a steam train route in TSW? Hopefully. Nothing to announce on that front though. there be an Antarctic route in TSW. I'll tell you what, that idea is cool. I'll mention it to other people in the team, but I think they'll be cold on that idea. As specified by your train orders, you'll enter Buford Centre Siding to be overtaken by UP Train 104. Bring your head into a stop at Buford, Cent Buford Centre Siding East. what we're doing with the signals now. <clears throat> what train would you run up in Antarctica though? Clearly an ICE. <laughs> I 
A frosty reception, yeah, absolutely. You'd, you'd write up the route proposal for it, hand it to someone, they'd look at it and they'd say, Snow good, mate. Ooh, bad puns. <sighs> Tease, currently have every German route and trains in TSW on the Xbox One. Fantastic. The German content is my, uh, it's probably my favourite of the lot, to be honest. I really enjoy that. Mostly because of uh, um, PZB. It's buffered, is it? How does PCB work? It basically tries its damnedest to stop the train. And it's up to you to stop it. It's like weighing whack-a-mole sometimes, is what it feels like. <laughs> it's like whack-a-mole. Except that you can't see the mould, you just have to know to whack it. It's not. It makes perfect sense once you understand it. But that's how it, that's how it seems when you don't understand it. South Eastern High Speed is one of my favourite TS1 routes, Tommy Blundell. I really like that route. The 395, probably one of my... I mean, it's my local route as well. It ticks a lot of boxes, what can I say? Diverging! Crossing into the Recenter Road now. Still lots of you asking will there be and will there be a new route or I can't answer those questions I'm afraid folks. You want a TSW route in space, Taylor? Interesting. How will the train see where it's going? Easy! Make sure you put satellites on the front. What I mind jumping inside? Boom! We have jumped inside. Sim Tempworth. <laughs> No, you can't really see an awful lot, but then you've got the head out views, um, which are where you'll get more of a, a view of what's actually going on. These are huge, huge cabs, these things. going on up here then?
Well, training by driving, this is the uh, Union Pacific Challenger. Is that not our signal? Kind of looks like our signal. Oh no, that's this one and this one. <clears throat> I was just checking to see if you lot were awake. Congratulations, you passed the test. Matt's come over all British again. What does that mean then? What's that mean? Why is the HUD logo icons backwards? Uh, because. Do you mean with the fact that it shows look what looks like the tender and then the loco? And it's not actually showing the tender and the loco. It's because technically this is two locomotives. So you're seeing the green box here for this bit. And then the drivable bit where the, ca co the cab is is this bit. Yes, I, I, no I didn't alert you. I'm going to be honest. I, I misread the signal. How do I R bake exactly, Ed? Please fill me in. <laughs> well done. While we await the arrival of UP Train 104, sit back and relax. Scenario complete. Minus 2291. I'm not getting a medal, except maybe a piece of paper inviting me to seek employment elsewhere. <clears throat> right, I'm going to do another one now, but let me just, um, when this comes up again, at some point, okay, why, while it's doing its thing. So, what is the Battle for Sherman Hill? The Battle for Sherman Hill is a collection of trains um, and uh, the routes to the, the Sherman Hill. Um, it is available... Um, or will be available as a single thing that you can buy for 19.99 for the whole lot or if you have already got any part of it already or if you've got all of it already in fact then you'll be able to do a complete my collection and then you'll get the benefit of the discount and then effectively pay uh, purchase a uh, pay for the bits that you don't have so you'll benefit from the the cheaper price um if you have all of the stock already then to get the battle for sherman hill which is nine scenarios um, which are brand new scenarios that use all of the trains in this pack it's going to be six pound ninety nine i don't know quite how that works out in euros and dollars and all the other currencies but um i'm sure you can figure it out the usual sorts of um rates uh, but those are the prices so it's 19.99 if you've got nothing 6.99 if you've got everything and then there's a complete my collection in the middle <clears throat> i unlocked a chatham mainline achievement excellent that's that's just how good i am uh, what's in the pack? Sherman Hill, Union Pacific Challenger, Union Pacific Big Boy, GP40-2 Loco Pack, Union Pacific SDACE Loco Pack, the Cab Forward Loco Pack, which provides freight cars for this route, um, and then there's the Battle of Sherman Hill, uh, Battle for Sherman Hill uh, scenario pack on top of that. Right, let me uh, get another scenario going. Uh, that one. Say hello, Top Ghostland. Everything trains. If you've got things that you'd like to see, then uh, please, uh, in, in TSW, please just go onto the forums and make your post in the suggestions forum. 
That's it, ECM2 has just posted a link to it. When you heard about the battle for Show Me Know, you thought it was like a war? No, because trains battle up gradients. They battle for permission to also for the pr priority on the line. There's all sorts of battles. Right. We've got brakes applied. Larry Subdivision Dispatcher to train the GMGLTU Lead Unit 5553. The ZLATV LADV lead unit UP8615 and the ZDLS KP lead unit uh, UP1375 are both approaching Buford. Really? That's where we are, is it? Once the ZLADV is passed and subject signal indications, you'll be clear to proceed westbound via Main 2. Yes, you get Dan Hernandez, Mr. Edfisk. Decades apart, exactly, Stephen Jam. That's the, one of the nice things about this pack is that the freight stock includes liveries and um, trains and so forth that cover quite a wide range of time. So um, you can sort of experience the different element the eras of the uh, of the room. The other really nice thing about a pack like this is that workshop, if you've got to make scenarios for workshop, if you focus on scenarios that use scenario, use the sock that comes in this pack, many more people will have it so you get a lot more downloads on your scenarios and there's enough stock here to really make some really interesting scenarios. So you should find that, um, yeah, if, I would recommend if you're going to make some workshop stuff that you um, that you use the stuff in this uh, in this pack. Waiting for this Z train to go by. There is one scenario which is the one featured in the key art for the, their product with the details alongside the um, big boy Steam Master. See you later, VCN. Black Cat Photographer, if you've got routes and suggestions that you want to make, please do that in the forums. That's the best place to do that. Two hot trains going through. Do you have to own DSW to be able to use the extra routes? You do indeed, I think, the trains. Jeeps. Reefers. We're in the corridor. There you go, there's your foreman Dan Hernandez. the one we should hopefully get the light in a minute. Hill start on an eight of one point eight percent grade. Be fun. Brakes are still coming off.
Well, apparently this just released. There you go, folks. Hopefully, this, if someone can post a link to it, you should be able to get this on on first thing. Though. Who does it? <clears throat> no, it wasn't a sound problem. It just takes a while for the brakes to come off as well. Buying a new Xbox in July, you to play TSW on it. So you're currently using Xbox Plays. If you are, then yes, just log into the same account. There you go, links have been posted for so Battle for Sherman Hill is now available, folks. This route there was this pack is now available. Like I said, you can either buy the full pack, you can do the complete my collection and buy the missing bits that you don't have, and then the scenario pack itself is six ninety nine. Included in the price of that pack. Where are we going anyway? Laramie. So we're actually going back where we came from. Excellent. Jay, did I see what? Sorry. limit coming up. Oh yes, I saw the Unreal 5 demo. Looks very good. To this 40 limit. Usual answer about things in the future, Jay, I'm afraid. Is it possible for it to be updated? Until it's out, I can't possibly answer that question. Hope so. They're reckoning it's um, easier to migrate from Unreal 4 to Unreal 5, but. Yeah, until it's out, there's not a lot anyone can comment on that, I'm afraid. Any chance we'll get a similar package from Rise Pass as Battle for Shunnel? If that's something that you want, then say so. Go onto the forums and um, uh, post something. 
that'd be really interesting feedback to get if there's other route packs and what sort of stock do you think should be in the packs uh, and what kind of scenarios would you want to see on that you know it's that's really good feedback you know you've seen what this idea is what would you like to see Kendra, what is going on here? I'm driving a train. I'm showing off a new um, pack called Battle for Sherman Hill. I'm running one of the scenarios from that. And we are driving on the new uh, Sherman Hill. In this case, we're driving a Givo, an ES44 AC. Content, the routes and the trains haven't changed for Devil Dom. Um, this is a bundle deal of existing content, uh, which using the Collect Eat My Collection, you, if you don't have, you can um, pick up at a good price. Okay, this is a green light there, okay. Panicking slightly. Going over the summit. Um, uh, but then there's nine scenarios which then create the Battle for Sherman Hill experience, um, which is um, the other aspect of it. So if you don't own any of it, it's £19.99 for the whole thing. Um, if you own all of it, then it's not just six ninety nine to get the scenarios. There you go, new announcement I've been posted saying Battle for Sherman Hill, out now! Remember, this is for Train Simulator 2020, not Train Sim World. Was there a new route for TSW recently? Another uh, most recent thing released Red Devil Dawn was the M3. That was yesterday. Or today. It was today, probably. I know, I, I showed it off yesterday. Oh, how's data? How's it going? What we got coming up here? More jeeps with the Norfolk Southern design. Dale Main Two. At the moment the formation changing is only on the Long Island, yes please. Lil Quas, I don't actually know how it's been presented on Steam, so um, I don't know. One of them will be, the, I think, a full pack, which is probably the add-on, which is, I'm guessing, is showing up as 19 
The other one will be a complete my collection deal, which I'm guessing is the bundle, which will only charge you for the bits you don't have. I'm assuming. I don't know that though, because I'm not seeing on Steam what there is on there. The add-on is the pack by itself. If you want the pack with the locos, then you can pick up the collection. Yeah, you do need to have the locos as well. And the roof. Dynamics get the speed coming down for the 40. Moggy says if he clicks on the either pack, it automatically changes to a complete my collection, which is cheaper. That's astoundingly clever of it. Oh, hello, we've got something on track three over there. Uh, drum bank, make sure your brakes are fairly well applied. You've got to be above about 50% on the handle. Um, then you find the brakes open and close, uh, doors open and close properly. We do need to have the brakes well applied. Jay, what is the Battle of Sherman thing all about? It's a scenario collection using a wide range of trains that you included in the pack um, to give you lots of nice variety. Oh, hello, we're about to go up again. Um, yeah, but it's a pack of nine scenarios with them um, and then the whole pack consists of um, the route and the locos and so you can run them together. I think a 2 one, one formation is quite popular um, on any long consist um, like being good.
power up this hill. The LL251 local Legion at UP314 is in the clear on the Hermosa rock track. You will be routed to Laramie by track 2. The speed through West Hermosa is 30 miles per hour. Uh, Duncan, the DDA40X is actually in the game already, uh, the train simulator. The D30 is in there as well. If you have a look on the Steam store, Duncan, they're both there. I'm assuming that's what you mean. Let's turn that cab light off. There you go, it's DD35, that was the one. Which also comes with the GP35, if I remember right. Down to 30, we are diverging. <laughs> Matt Bear Hancock's it's a scenario pack, so the new bit is the nine new scenarios, and then it's a collection of the existing stock for those that don't have that stock at a really nice price. Brakes to trim. No, it's the same route map by Hancock's. And we're the engineer of 3144 and we want to take a, take a good photograph. Here he comes.
Just let it speed back up to the 40 again now. Thank you for the uh, mixed sparks, Arid. <coughs> I'm going to get trolled. I'm absolutely going to get trolled. Look at that. Blumen auto rack train. You line up a good shot. So it is dynamic time of day, yes, Lynn, eventually the daytime, so the sun will move and it will go dark and then it will get light again if you play it for long enough. And also the shadows as well, so you see the shadows are being cast by the sun and as the sun moves in the sky, so the shadows will move as well. <coughs> Jacob, what are we hauling today? Let us find out, shall we? Hoppers, 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 more hoppers. This is the Easter train, clearly. Yeah, looks like it's all hoppers, it's a grain train. This scenario is, oh yeah, Givos and Grain, sharp steam jam. Smarty.
its lights on. Yeah, I know, I'm always calling them key lights, it should be Jindos. Yeah, but I call that GIF. <laughs> G stands for graphics. G <laughs> One mild colores. Fine, I think we'll get a meet about there. Would it work? Did I get it right? Technically, I got a meet there on the screen. It was just right on the edge of the screen. Will there be a stream for the new TSW chain? The M3, that was yesterday, Unbox Gamer. up on the dynamics, let the train speed up a little bit. So yes, if you're interested in um, Union Pacific trains, if you're interested in Sherman Hill operations, Battle for Sherman Hill will give you a good range of stock, uh, give you the route, and some scenarios to run it. Plus, obviously, the um, Sherman Hill comes with a bunch of scenarios already. Um, there are quite a few trains included in that. So there's quite a lot of gameplay if you don't have them. If you do have them, like I said, you can just pick up the scenario pack on its own. Um, or if you've got bits of it, but not all of it, there is a complete my collection, which will let you um, finish that off and get the last bits of one and benefit from the uh, the fact that it's all significantly discounted with this pack. Slow us down, it's just about at the limit now. Why can't you play it, William? Are you not on PC?
Excuse me. Excuse me. Sit in the cab for a bit. In Dig Garden and Crips, it's it's exceptionally good value. In my opinion anyway. I may be biased. Don't we to lower the game a bit? There you go, game is lowered a bit. The game is so chill, it puts me to sleep. So what you do as a photographer, isn't it? You try and perch on different places to get pictures that other people haven't got. Fast, put more e brake on, slow it down a bit. going to be more utilisation of the formation changer? I imagine so, yes. Started it way too far out for the speed I'm doing. If you had seen one class of Union Pacific Steam Loco added to TS1, what it would be? I'm not really familiar with lots of different classes, so I'm going to end up saying something boring like Big Boy or Challenger. But I'm sure if I look into it, there'll be more appreciative ones. The uh, DBA40X is not a dovetail product, Dominic. It's actually a third-party product. <coughs> we can't go around putting other people's stuff in our packs. Put simply. Yeah, something small will be more my size. But then, there's, there's no such thing as small American steam. Well, there is, but it's very rare. Hey, Tony Cook. Yeah, 
Yeah, consolidation would be nice. See you later, Jay. The FEF3 is good, yeah, and the Smokebox made an amazing model of it. But again, it's another gigantic big um, train, whereas I like the little stuff. Uh, Limley Cod, uh, presumably you're on uh, Xbox, uh, in which case, yes, the uh, team are aware of it and someone is looking into trying to find out what's going on with it and uh, uh, try and get that fixed as soon as possible. That's what I was just referring to, Tyler. Um, there's a team are looking at it, but I don't have a, uh, a date for you or time, a time, sorry, for when it be fixed. Because I don't actually know what the problem is. Oh, it's the SD60M. With a couple of SDs. Forum S1060. I don't know if that's a dovetail thing either. That was done as part of the Forum Peninsula, which was a charity pack with lots of um, work contributed by a wide range of the community, specifically for the purpose of raising money for that charity. It's also a really old model by the today's standards, and I don't think it even had a cab. Can you tell the team about the GP40-2 problem on the PlayStation Store? Oh, this is where you can't actually buy it at all, is it, Dominic? I think they're aware of that one as well. Do you really need that many locos on front? Yes, this is America. Tordek, you'll need to tell me about what particular question you're talking about. Ed, wasn't it the um, 7? Xbox problem. Um, I don't know what the problem is with the Xbox tour deck. Other people might, but I don't, and I'm streaming, so I'm not getting any updates. Um, but as far as I'm aware, people are looking at it. Oh, it was a Union Pacific one. Oh, that's different then, no. It probably was SW1500 then. Coming up on 4L. Frazzle gun, not much longer now. As soon as I get into Laramie, at the end of this scenario. See that bad guy? Yeah, I don't know why that is, Dominic. Any chance of multiplayer in TSW? Hopefully at some point it's thinking happen, but it's uh, not on the immediate roadmap. Uh, it's not something that I want to look at longer term. The main feedback we're getting from players is improve the single player experience. So that's where we're focusing the effort.
<coughs> and the Welsh troops be re-released without tied, being tied to a top, my plan, or not really, no. Um, the problem is that if you remove the branding and re-release it as, an, as, as the same product, it removes the branding from everybody. They, you know, people who bought it with branding when it launched would suddenly no longer have branding, and I don't think anyone would appreciate that. That may even be legally questionable. Um, if you copy it all into a new set of folders and release it as a brand new DLC, then it wouldn't be compatible with anything workshop or scenarios or anything else that had gone on in the uh, community at all either. So it's difficult to come up with a good option for that, unfortunately. I know the team are looking into it. There is plenty of demand for Steam Loco to be added to TSW. There's lots of people asking for it, yes. Milk was, I would have so much fun with multiplayer as well. I and lots of people would have, multiple people would have fun with multiplayer. Next crew for the GMGLTU is still on its rest, so your train will be yarded at Laramie. Yard the train with the head end at Laramie Track 3 West and leave the power attached. Ensure your yard switches are aligned as required. Right, let us. <clears throat> we're coming in here. Where are we supposed to be going? That's that. We may encounter a faulty restricting signal at Larry East, which is safe to pass. Larry Track 3 West. Which is one in from the end. Long American Yards, Track 3 East. Looks like we're already rooted. Is CSX Heavy Oil still available? Yeah, if you buy TSW 2020 uh, on PC, everything trains, it comes with CSX Heavy Oil. Basically, if you own TSW on PC, you've got CSX Heavy Oil. You can't not have CSX Heavy Oil. It's not on consoles, but it is on PC. Stinky Headman, I can't talk about the editor, I'm afraid, at the moment. When there's news on the editor, I will let you know. I'm afraid I can't talk about products that or projects that uh, may have not been announced. So, <clears throat> if you want to see that as an add-on, um, make sure you go over to the the uh, forums and make a suggestion post in the appropriate forum for it. Will Heavy Hall ever come to console? Well, never say never, Jacob. But it requires quite a lot of work to make to rebuild the roof to make it work on consoles. So, there's no plans to do that at the moment. There's no announcements to make about it. I guess this is the faulty red. I guess we're about to find out if it's faulty anyway. Yep. Got a Luna. We need a whole lot more brakes.
thundering into the yard, breaking all of the junctions underneath us. Can I say in layman terms why ECSX has to be almost rewritten? The foliage um, was built in um, a way that um, is inefficient on consoles. So consoles, not all computers are built alike. They're, they, they're good at certain things and less good at other things. And what's, um, the way that CSX Heavy Hall was built required GPUs, as it turns out, to work in cert have certain characteristics and how they work, how well they handle alpha transparencies and so forth. And um, that all the foliage, for example, is a um, a good example of. Hang on. We really this frame we have. Good. Uh, all the foliage is a really good example of. Well, it was done in a way which transpires to be not great for consoles, so you get low frame rates because of it. So it needs to be redone with the way we do it these days. And basically, the route is entirely foliage. Um, the track uses an old model of track, which is quite inefficient. Um, so we just need to change all the track over to the the newer way of doing track. Um, there's, there's there's a bunch of stuff to be honest. There's lots of little things and a couple of big things. I don't think you can do that, Dominic. I don't think Steam will let you do that. Hauling all the way over to Track 3 West at the other end of the uh, siding. Uh, I don't think that the trains will run on the different routes. I think it uses the wagons, everything trains, but I don't think it will use the... You, you couldn't do like the CSX 240. I don't think it's selectable on that route, no. Why is the cab forward in this bundle? For the wagons that come in the pack, Dominic, with some really useful um, wagons, specifically for the Pacific Route Express, um, which are um, you know important for some of the scenarios. So um, that's why that pack is included in there, just to give more variety on the freight rolling stock. Will there be a route outside of UK, US, Germany? Well, technically, Oakville is outside of that, because that's in Canada. It's still North America, but it's not the US. I'll pull forward a bit. So that'll do. Cab Ford's lovely, isn't it, Dominic? Of all the bigger US steam, the Cab Ford's are uh, some of my favourite, just because they're really unusual. And they've got lovely sound to them. Aside from the laser gun blasts, 
It's just weird. UK or American freight trains? Oh, they're, they're, like most things, they're each different in their own ways. I don't really have a preference. Bringing a big heavy freight over the hill and then the mountain grade and then managing it with the electric brakes, dynamic brakes coming down the other side is really interesting. But then also having a short train in the UK and doing pickups and drop offs and things is also very interesting. So it's more the operations than the specific where it is and what you're doing with it. That's so right, where it is and what it is. It's the what you're doing with it that's the important bit for me. Climb down, find some dinner here at Laramie. <coughs> there you go. Uh, why uh, did the companies decide to start the American rather than starting British? Um, because the um, there's a lot of interest on that side of things, um, but there's also means that if we do British, then we'd had to have got all the passenger stuff working as well rather than focusing on traction and braking um, and then doing passenger next which is the way that we ended up doing it um, so it would have just meant that the release was a lot later on um, so uh, and there's there's a lot of interest in the american stuff um, there really is so that was kind of there was two there were many factors that led to the decision on that to be honest right so that was battle for sherman hill i'm going to run the trailer for it one more time um, to lead us out um, and, but otherwise than that, that's the pack. It's available now. £19.99 for the complete pack. It's also available in Complete My Collection so that you don't buy stuff that you've already paid for and you get the benefit of all the discounts. Uh, if you've got all of the stuff in the pack, then it's £6.99 uh, for the uh, scenario pack, essentially. And the scenario pack gives you nine scenarios uh, to use in uh, on Sherman Hill. All right, folks. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Sam will be back tomorrow at five o'clock and uh, he'll see you then. See you everybody. Take care. Bye bye.